I'm going to show you about four things in this little video. One of them is discussions, and so you, if you are assigned a discussion, you'll see a little icon like that. And then you go to the discussion, you click in it, and it gives you the opportunity to write something and post it. You can check your spelling. Uh, you, uh, if you're, you can insert a link if you need some. Uh, if your keyboard isn't making some foreign language characters, you can check over here. There's some math equations for you to use. Then you post when you're done. And again, if you want to reply to somebody else, you would just go down and do that. Okay, so that is how you participate in a discussion. I'm not going to post anything. The next thing I want you to be aware of is your profile. So you go up here to your name and you click the downward out, downturned arrow and you find your profile. If you want to edit this, you might not have anything here yet, click the edit button and then make sure that you press to save at the end. So that's how you upload that. You can go over here, edit your picture and add a different picture in if you want. All right. Another thing I'm going to show you is your portfolios. These are important because you want to keep track of your best work. So every semester you may want to add something in. You could just add them by time, right? You could, um, uh, you you can um, share your portfolio once you've had it. So I you can um, export it to a zip file so that you can upload it to Naviance for college. So it's a really good way to keep track of things. You could name it after each class. You could name your best work after each semester. Um, you know, and then again, you can share that with the teacher as well if your teacher wants you to keep a portfolio. The last thing I want you to know is that you do have resources. Um, I believe they are here and not on the side of your class tab, but they could be. Uh, and you do have a personal resource. You can uh, over here. You can add a different uh, resource group. One of the things about when you add your own resource page as opposed to this home one, uh, you'll notice that over here the option for sharing a resource shows up. And I don't know if you have that capability or not, but those are that's where you can add resources. It might be like documents that you're using for a paper, images that you want to use for a. Uh, an assignment, it's a place that you can keep track of them and you can name the folders and each or the research collections after that assignment just to keep it clear. Uh, you should have the main app that you should have connected should be your Google Drive resource app. I believe that is uh, automatic. That means that when you go to add an assignment, um, it's it's there for you um, as part of your, your research within the resources. Okay, uh, that's about it for that, but hopefully that helps.